Hello, and today we are going to be doing some taste testing from Munchpack. The good people at Munchpack sent us a nice box to do their August um, snack box. But unfortunately, we're doing it a little late, but that is okay. So come back with us and see just what we find in the Munch box. I'm an American who lives in Denmark, and these are my friends, Casper and Emily. Casper is a Dane, and Emily is nope. another American, and they are going to be going through these different snacks with me, and we're going to comment in both Danish and English. So, if that interests you, click the red subscribe button and follow along. So here we go. So, um, what Munchpack is, is a subscription you can order this online and every month you'll get a box of different snacks from across the world. And so we're just going to be going through and trying them one at a time, finding out where they're from and seeing what we think about them. Okay, so the first one is called Bis Bisley Onion. And it says the word snack didn't exist in the Hebrew language before Bisley arrived in the 70s. Now it's undoubtedly one of Israel's most popular snack brands. So this one is from Israel. Okay, so. Mm. All right. So Denia Kamakha is Israel. Israel. So, yeah. All right. No anti-Semitism. Mmm. And it smells first, it smells like it's. I read onion on the pack and I'm afraid. Oh, it's like a full onion. Those are really good. Those are really good. What do you think? Ah. This one's too. Yeah, it's very fine. Yeah. It's a little bit kedelig, I want some more. Yeah, yeah it, it's very fine. In a way, it doesn't taste like a potato chip or Not. corn chip. It almost... Oh, it's, it's a says, wheat snack. Wheat snack. I was going to say, it feels like, it tastes like there's wheat involved. Mm -hmm. So, but it definitely does have an onion flavor to it. Yeah. But I don't think I've ever had a wheat flavor or wheat... Yeah, a flavored wheat snack. I don't think I've ever had this before. It tastes more like a chips in the end. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah, it has a thicker consistency. Right. I can almost see this being a cereal without the onion flavor. Yeah. I would yeah, eat it. I would eat an onion flavored cereal. <laughs> yeah, <I> would. <laughs> you would eat an onion flavored cereal? Yeah. yeah. So okay. Like that. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, next we're going to go on to the Doritos, and I think we're all familiar with Doritos, but this one is from Mexico, and it's got a little, I don't know, ad on the on the front for it's Dragon Dragon Ball something or other. I don't know what that is, but have a look. Dragon Ball B. Digimon. Hi, 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 yeah, Dragon Ball. But it's all in Spanish, so we're not really <laughs> sure what you're supposed to do with this. El, Maybe El, uh, el Dracomundo. El Dracomundo. El Dracomundo. <laughs> set, what, how do you say? What else you have set for Spanish? Du bor i Texas. Well, it's probably yeah. like a Z anyways, right? I don't know. Okay, so then these are called Pizzarolos. Pizza rollas, pizza rollas. So perhaps pizza flavored Doritos. Mass pro producto. So these are Mexican. Yeah, it, and Mexican pizza. Mexican pizza. Okay. Okay. It smells like oh. Mexican. It smells like pizza seven paprika. I don't smell anything, but it definitely tastes like there's like paprika on it. Ah. It does taste more like like a nacho chip. It's like a nacho chip. Yeah. I mean, it's a corn chip. These are Doritos, so it's it's a corn chip, but the, the flavoring that they have on it. I think it tastes more like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells. It smells fine. There ain't there ain't much spark in them. No. 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 But oh. it does have enough flavor where it tastes different than a regular Dorito. Do you like it? No, yeah, no. Nah. It's not my favorite. I mean, I'd rather have the onion chips again. I like it okay. because I like cheese. I mean, it's got like a, a cheesy 
salsa almost flavor to it, I think. Salsa, salsa. yeah, den er god. Det, det smager lidt hen af salsa. Do you know what? When I was a kid, I had gak, and I had a pizza smell gak, a pizza scented gak. What? And it tastes like pizza yeah, scented gak. What's gak? Gak was like this, it came in a container, and it was almost like silly putty. Okay. But it was a little slimier, and you would push it, and it would make, like... But you weren't supposed to eat it. No, but it came in scented, like, scented, it came in scents. And I had a piece of scented gak, and that's what it tastes like. That is crazy. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we're moving on to Nutella Be Ready. And Nutella, I think everybody knows Nutella. This one says it's from Poland. And, um, yeah, it's right down there in Polish, so I have no idea what it says. But it looks like it's a cookie with chocolate on the inside and maybe some extra nuts or something. Huh. I know I'm probably going to like this already because who doesn't like Nutella? Yeah, Emily. Oh, you don't like Nutella? No, it's not my favorite. I prefer peanut butter. Oh my gosh, I love Nutella right. here. Okay, well, I'll... Here, let's go. Let's split up. Okay. Oh, well, they're, they're little... Okay, oh, well, yeah. it, it looks like... Uh, maybe it might... Ooh. Oh, you can break it into different yeah. sections. Oh. And this cookie is kind of like a... a, a... Kit Kat. Fortune, fortune cookie. Yeah, ah. it, it does say, it seem to have the same consistency of a fortune, fortune cookie. Yeah, and it tastes like a fortune cookie with Nutella. Yeah, yeah. I think it tastes like a wafer. Yeah, wafer. Yeah, the uh, there uh, white smock here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. Um, I think, I think Kinder, uh, they make something very similar. Um, With the same wafer outside? Uh, yeah, what are they? Kinder Bueno or something like that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I haven't had those. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Mm -hmm. Men det er bare en stor udgave, så det gør det jo. Det gør det jo meget federe. These are your favorite, aren't they? Oh, indtil videre, ja. Yeah, I, I really like these, but I really like Nutella, so... Mm. Yes, this is a good for me. And, mm. But I'm, I'm wondering why, why this is Polish compared, you know. I can understand, like, the salsa kind of flavor for these, but I'm wondering what about this makes it Polish. Just... It says they're shaped like a baguette. They're shaped like a baguette. Like a baguette. Det gør dem jo. Mindre pols. Yeah. <laughs> it could be. Okay. Jeg kan godt lide det. Jeg synes, man yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Logo. Logo. Okay, that, yeah. that one was good. Oh, should we go back to um, our childhood yes! here? This is most definitely something we're familiar with in the yeah, U.S. Okay. It's from Canada, though. And it's from Canada, our nice neighbors. Oh, and, my goodness. But this says Maynard Sour Patch Kids Sour Cherry Blasters. So I don't know if it blasters means like there's some juices inside. That's what I would say. But they're shaped like little, like little cherries. It says they're sour on the outside and sweet on the inside. That sounds like me. Filled, filled, <laughs> filled with juices. Filled, filled with saft. Filled with saft. Oh my gosh, they're a lot smaller than I thought they were going to oh, be. Oh, they are. Go ahead. That picture. Oh, them, huh? I'm not the... Um, I don't know, the biggest cherry person, nor am I the biggest gummy, but I love sour stuff. Oh, I'm not, I don't like cherry either, but I like that. Mm. Mm. I like the sour. It smells very kunstig. Very kunstig. Yeah. Men, but that's the best part of it, though. Yeah, it's kunstig. Yeah. Why? Because that's the best way to have candy. Ah! That was like... I don't know. I mean, I, I think it tastes like a it tastes like those cherry flavored cough drops. But oh, again, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. That you said it. I can't eat it. I'm not a I'm not a cherry flavored person, but I do love how easy it is to chew. Yeah. In Denmark, we have we have gummy candy, and it's so hard to chew. English green gummy. Yeah. Yeah. Do do elsker English green gummy. I love green gummy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, det der det hårde ikke green gummy bare så de hårde green gummy. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of those. I would prefer to be able to chew something. I don't know. To me, if it's too much work, I'm not all that interested in it. But these are really... Oh, I could eat these all day. It looks like you will. <laughs> I don't think we're getting that back. Okay. Um, this one looks fun, but I don't know how we're going to eat this one. This one is from Taiwan. And the packaging itself makes me want to buy this. It's Hello Kitty. I don't know about you, Casper, but I'm I'm Dude. interested. It says P Tien Energy 99 Rice Cake Egg Yolk Flavor. That's a lot of names. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 
lot of names. Og så ligner det en tampon. Why in the world would rice cake egg yolk flavor? Yeah, yeah. You know what? It, it looks like a tampon. It does look like a tampon. Så, så, så. Well, I guess we'll have Energi to... Energi 99 is kage, ægge, hvide, smag, right. tampon. It's, <laughs> it's country and sweet on the outside with a mildly sweet cream on the inside. Oh my... It's perfect to snack on anywhere and adding to their addictiveness. Oh, addictiveness. Yeah. We'll be the judge of that. Intet. That is intet. Yeah, well... <laughs> So the way that I feel it, it, it feels like, you know, powder's coming off of it, almost like it's like a sugar cookie, but it says it's a rice cake, so... It smells good. It smells like a, like a Danish Christmas cookie, almost. Um, den smager som en, uh, uh, hvad hedder det, en soli, uh, stor uh, Cheerio. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, Cheerio, uh, hvad hedder det, morgenmad? It does. Ja, yeah, bare sådan stor af dem. It tastes just like a Cheerio. Ja. Yeah. Yeah, because I think Cheerios are made out of rice in, in some mm -hmm. regards. Yeah, it's not that bad. I think when I was thinking rice and sweetness, yeah. I thought, what's that gonna taste like? Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, it tastes just like Cheerios. It's a lot like when you're chewing it, and mm. like the powder comes off, it's almost like eating a cheese, uh, like a cheese puff. But it doesn't taste like cheese, it mm. tastes like... Den er mere solid, ja. Den er mere solid, den er ikke så luftig. Sweet. It's not very yeah. sweet. Yeah, it, it's really fluffy. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, yeah it tastes more like cereal. Mm. Okay. okay I like Så har vi haft to indtil nu. Vi har haft løg morgenmad, og vi har haft vis tampon morgenmad. <laughs> yeah, well, I seriously, yeah, we could say this is a, like a breakfast, but I'm not quite sure that we're going to be eating it for breakfast. Maybe we should just try a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah. Cleansing the palate. With onion? With, with onion. <laughs> right. This one is from Italy, and I probably would have guessed that just from the packaging. Um, this one says Matilda Vin Vincenzi Milla Fogli di Italia mini snack cream flavor. That's jeg, another very long jeg description. Jeg tror, jeg tror, vi havde dem der, øh, når vores familie vi plejede at køre på, til Italien på ferie. Så yeah. tror jeg, vi fik dem her. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so Casper may have had these before. Oh, yeah. On a family oh, vacation. Yeah. It's very, uh, yeah, flaky. Oh. Oh, it kind of looks like oh, a yeah. pastry. It does look like, like a tiramisu yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I think it maybe just got a little bit broken, but maybe that's a little bit better <laughs> description. <laughs> okay. Vi tager en bidder, vi tager en bidder. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. Jeg er næsten sikker på, at vi har fået dem her, dengang vi har... Hvad Ja, det faldt fra hinanden, okay. det var noget værd lort. This one is really okay. messy, so I apologize in advance for having to share that, but try to get a little bit of the cream. Casper's very excited. Jeg er meget spændt. He took the whole thing. Well, no. the, the, you, you eat this bite, because I think okay. there's some cream on there. Ja. Yeah. Oh my god, that's good. Øhm, um, smager præcis ligesom uh, franske vafler. Dem man kan købe, Karen Wolf, ej det ved jeg ikke om det er, det ved I ikke hvad er. Just like a donut, like a cream filled mm -hmm. donut. Yeah. Der er en småkage i Danmark øh, fra en producent, der hedder Karen Wolf, der hedder franske småkager, hvor der er noget øh, okay. indeni. Og de smager præcis ligesom dem. Okay, I, I don't know those. But, so it, it, it tastes like something here in Denmark. Yeah. I, for me, I think it... I'm surprised it's packaged, because it tastes so fresh. It does, it, it's yeah. very flaky, mm -hmm. you know, uh -huh. and the cream is... Well, it's flaky. It's yeah. pretty good, but yeah, it, it does taste very very similar to I, I don't in a way like a donut because it's mm -hmm. it's it's a flaky pastry, but yeah, I feel like I I, don't, like I, I feel like they needed to pack two in there because I yeah. I need to really think about that one. Yeah. yeah, but it was it was good. It was a nice it was a nice change. It was very different than the rest. It's better but, than a tampon. <laughs> but I think if if you think about Italian pastries. I, that's probably something that I would envision mm. that it would taste like that. Right. Okay, now we are going a little bit more ethnic and we are finding something from Pakistan. <laughs> and these look like, these look just like cream filled cookies, you know, that... Like a Pakistani Oreo? I don't know, maybe it is like a vanilla Oreo. It says L-U Milkolu double oh. milk sandwich. 
Irresistible Milk Cream Stuffed Sandwich Biscuits are making a comeback. Popular in the 90s, people worldwide can't get enough of this throwback snack. Okay, so it kind of looks like a little baby waffle in a way, and it's a cookie with some cream inside. It kind of smells like peanut butter. It does. I don't know what it what smells you, like. Yeah, it looks... I think I'll, I pass out my... Like, I'm going to pass out from all my sniffing. Mmm, you're yeah, good. You go. Oh, that was really good. That was really, really good. Oh, it's supposed to visit Pakistan this again. Sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah, they're ready to visit Pakistan. Uh, I don't know. Please. I don't know how I could describe this. It feels like really buttery. Mm, yeah. You know the off-brand Oreos you get at Walmart? No. That's I would never buy an off-brand Oreo. This is what this <laughs> like. well, When people are buying school and stuff, this is what this tastes like. Kind of like, oh, forget the name of them. This is really, really buttery. You know, mm. I was trying to like wrap my head around the, the flavor here, and it's it's not like just a regular cookie. It's it's, it's very much a butter cookie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good. That's what, that's, um, Jeg tror godt, at man kunne sælge dem her. Det er også Lou, så øh, de ville nok blive solgt fint i Danmark. Øh, jeg tror godt, du kunne sælge dem her i Danmark. Do you think people would buy them here? Ja, det tror jeg. Mm -hmm. Det tror jeg. Det tror jeg helt bestemt. Yeah. Det smager oh. godt. Are you gonna eat all of it? Nej, du må godt få en. You go. Thank you. I, I think it's too much butter for me. Ah. Too much? I think it's too buttery for me. She can't oh, believe it's butter. I can't, I can't believe it's butter. I don't know. It's just, it's almost like, like really buttery popcorn. You know, like that butter popcorn jelly bean you get where it's like almost too powerful. And to me, it yeah. tastes like that. Which I love the, the butter popcorn jelly beans are one of my favorites, but I don't know. I just, it's too much. Too much it's for me. It's also really sweet. It is very sweet. It is very sweet. Mm -hmm. Pits well with the coffee, speaking of. Okay, so it but looks like, yeah, it looks like we've got three different things left over. And it says that these... Oven fresh banana muffins. These are also from Pakistan, so we might as well just transition to this. There's two in here. Oh, ah. he, he loves bananas. I do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just, Oh, oh. I think you need to slow down there, Casper. <laughs> <laughs> Never. He's really, really excited about everything that's happening. Right oh my now. gosh, that is see, a very. See. That is a very strong. Do what I'm Do what I'm saying. That's a. Hey, I'm just smelling it. It's not like the whole thing's okay. in my mouth already. But watch this. Watch him eat it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like two seconds. And then it is definitely, I mean, to me, this is, normally when you bake things with banana, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't ever smell this much banana. Mm -mm. It's right. almost as if this is like banana candy because yeah. you can smell it so yeah. much. It tastes like banana uh, runs. Yeah, my, my sugar. I yeah. make the my sugar. Mm. That is a really nice fluffiness. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what is that comparable to? A banana runt. No, it's like a circus peanut. Mm. Oh my god, this tastes like a circus peanut. It, I, I, yeah. I'm normally not a huge banana fan, but in my mind, this doesn't really taste so It tastes banana. exactly like a circus peanut. But, I love the consistency. I love how fluffy it is. Oh my but, god. But it, see, the more, That's fantastic. The more slick in the muffin. Well, you think so? Yeah. It tastes more candy than it does yeah. muffin. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what does it say on here? It says sugar, 6.74 yeah. grams, which is 7%. Yeah. I don't know. That's a lot of sugar in this. <coughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, but that was a really interesting yeah. taste. I've never tasted a muffin that was banana flavored that really quite came out like that. That's kind of nice. Yeah. You ask me. Okay, so now we're finding one in, in the book. It says that it's from the USA, and I'm from the USA, and I've never heard of this before. What's it called? It's called Abba Zabba Sour Blue Wild Berry, and it looks like it's, oh, it's Sour Taffy. I've, <laughs> it says um, their company is from Hayward, California. Maybe it's more found in certain parts of the US. <laughs> I'm from, today? I'm from the Midwest, and... I, we have Laffy Taffy, but I've never heard of Abba Zabba, but I've never it's, heard it's, of that. It's, it's, it's written in pig Latin. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how you feel after you eat it. I'm at the end of my munch pack. Oh my god, I can't get it off. But that's what Taffy is. Taffy is sticky goodness. 
There. Uh, oh my gosh, we're gonna definitely need the no. baby you wipes. Taffy? Yeah. Mm. He's I, never had taffy. Not what? Really. Uh, I love la like laughing taffy, so I'm ingen, excited about this. Der er ingen naturlige farver i det der. <laughs> no, yeah. but all it's candy. Artificial. <laughs> all artificial. Oh my god. I got? Yum. It's, it's yeah. sour, but it's so good. I love sour everything. Mm. But I'm telling you, I love I love taffy. Yeah, me too. Uh, Sour taffy's the best. And I mean, but but oh my god, this is like, this is like something you can play with. Look at my, my hands are like all blue. Do you not like it? <laughs> oh my god, you eat the Danish gummy candy that you've been chewing on for an hour before yeah, you can break it down. There's that, that, I feel like that horse with peanut butter. Mr. Red? Mr. Red just having it stuck up there. Just, <laughs> Oh, but it's so good. This oh, is good. this is very sour. I would say on on the scale of like sour candies, this is this is definitely mm. up there. This is definitely up there because oh. it's packing a punch. Yeah, it's actually that aftertaste. It's like when you're eating it, it's sweet, then at the end of it, it gets sour. Ooh, mmm, that's good. Oh, yeah. we need more of this. No yeah, boom. All right, I'm 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 keeping this for later because woo, there's no more. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> it is turning us blue. It is turning us blue. Mm. We murdered a smurf. Mm. <laughs> I think it's good to kind of start. I think it's good when you do this to start with like the the chips. Mm. Then work your way to you know some of the like pastry type things. And yeah, I, I think it's good to end Ooh. on a on a sour note. Can you imagine getting all that flavor? For people out? who just turned in, we just murdered a smurf. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no Smurfs were injured in the making of this video. <laughs> for this one. Okay, and the last one in our party box here, Munch Peck, I consider it a party, is, I don't know, Green Power? What do we call these guys? Where's it from? It is from Poland. Zozola. Zozola. I don't know. Be nice to me, Polish people, and I know there's one watching. If Ivana, don't don't give me a bad rep later because I'm butchering your language. Oh goodness. So, um <coughs> I can't tell anything about what it says on the packaging because it is all in Polish. Oh well, I, I can read the directions and it starts with sugar, I can tell you that. It looks like it's lemon and apple sweet tarts. Okay, well it says sweet and tart lemon and apple jellies made from real fruit juices. Misko is well known in Poland and now sells sweets in over 60 countries worldwide. So it's one pack that has these small little pack individual packages. There's two different colors. Are there two different colors? Yeah, and imagine those are the two different flavors. Did you get one of each color? Oh yeah. Well I mean. Okay, so I have I'm I'm guessing the green apple one. I'm gonna try that one too. Men det er smart. Man kan ikke, man kan ikke æde en håndfuld af dem, fordi man skal sidde og åbne dem op individuelt. Mm. That's not as sweet. Nej. It's not as it's not as sour as what we've been getting with the sour patch mm -mm. and then the the taffy. But I don't think it's supposed to be. But I like that, you know, how it says it's made with real fruit juice. It says 15% fruit juice. Oh, actually does have some English on here. It says without gluten and it has a good source of fiber. So maybe it's a, <laughs> a nice alternative for, for snacks and candy. It's my fruit serving for today. It's, it, it's, I think it's really nice because nice. it's like a gummy. Coffee? Yeah, it's yeah. easy to chew. There's a little bit of sweetness and it's not overpowering and there's no sourness to it. I think the lemon flavor was my favorite. Mm. The lemon's the best. I like the apple. Yeah. But I'm just an apple person. Um, til jul. Til jul i Danmark har vi, øh, er det som regel der, vi har en type vingummi, vi kalder flæsk. Øh, it tastes like those. Ja, lige præcis. And it even has the same, yeah. it has the uh, same Ja, yeah, og uh, uh, flæsk, og det betyder det samme som, uh, som svin, uh, pork, men hvad hedder det, åh, uh, oh, hvad fanden, hvad hedder, jeg kan ikke huske, hvad de hedder nu. Uh, man kan købe dem op til jul, uh, hvad hedder det, uh, de fleste steder sælger dem med aprikos smag. Okay. Men, De, de smager præcis ligesom dem her. Smager præcis ligesom dem her. Okay. Kommer en rød pakke. I think what I like about these the most is their texture. They're really soft. Yeah, yeah these are really soft. I mean, that's, that's what's nice about 
all of the gummy type of candy that we've had have been soft gummy, not like what we get here in Denmark where I feel like I'm breaking my teeth or I'm going to choke on it. So, yeah, these have been really nice. All right, so do we have any special favorites that we would like to... That one is really good. And we're not biased because it's American and we're American. And we had a lot of fun turning our tongues blue. <coughs> I don't know. I mean, I like I like. I could like uh, banana muffin. Yeah, those were those were surprisingly yeah, really yeah, really yeah. good. And like I said, I don't know if I could eat a whole bunch of them, but ah, oh, geez, it's so difficult. Yeah. Uh, and Nutella then you, Nutella thing they had. They were they were hella good. They were fine to to coffee. We don't think it was that special though. No, no, but they were they were fine enough to coffee. Okay. I think. So it's good for his coffee, but yeah. I definitely, I definitely like Nutella any way you're going to serve it. So yeah. it was good for me, but I, I don't know. I, oh. I, I do. Um, oh, and you guys like your favorite? Yeah, that might go on the Hugo. I do like this one too, yes. but I think we all kind of like this one too. Yeah, we do. So what it? Yeah, okay. Well, whoa! <laughs> now we're gonna find out if the dog likes it. <laughs> Oh, don't let don't let him eat it. Okay, well, Emily and I like this one. I mean, mm -hmm. I I don't know if I I don't know like with me if I eat potato chips or corn chips, I have like a weakness. I could just eat the whole bag. I don't know if I could eat a whole bag of these because I don't know the wheat. Yeah. Right. But I really do love things that have lemon, and I do love things that are sour. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I do like this one, but. I don't know. I, I really I really like how different this is. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put is Israel's mm. onion rings on my the uh, the tongue heavy the tongue as a the 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 in kicks the in chips the in kicks um, it's a it's more like a cracker yeah yeah it is more like a cracker you're right we have tons of different types of of flavored crackers in yeah. the U S so I could definitely see this being kind of like a like a trisket. Yeah. In a way, kind of like a like a flavored trisket. Or in here in Denmark, more like a took. Took, yeah. 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 Took. Yeah. It, I mean, the, the flavor is definitely like that. Yeah. 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 Took kids. That. I think Marty found one of them. Uh oh. Ah, defeat. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> Oops. The, the dog likes the, the dog, yeah, the, the dog also approves. Um, I think we're going to be uh, finding what, what's left over and eating a little bit more. But if you are interested in getting your own munch pack, I'm going to leave the information in the description. We had a nice time with our English and Danish descriptions of snacks from around the world. And um, thanks for coming along on this video. Thanks to Casper and Emily for trying it with me. And we'll see you again in another video. Don't forget to give us some thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Take care.